Before we get into this week's car chats, I had to make sure that you knew about our three day challenge coming up on November 14th at 8 p.m. It's completely free, but we wanna make sure, are you ready for a relationship? You may be like, look, this time next year, I would love to be dating, I would love to be engaged, I would love to be married, whatever it is, we wanna make sure that you step into 2023 prepared for what God may have for you, because the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result. So it's time to try something new, and we wanna help you do that. November 14th, see you there. Yeah. What's up, fam? Welcome back to Car Chats, where we simply just share something we learned from this previous week, and hopefully it encourages you, helps you reflect on your week. So let's get into it. This week, the biggest thing I learned is you really got to be selfless to have a good marriage. Mm. Now, if you're watching this, you probably aren't married yet, and if you are married and you're watching this, we really love you. Shout yeah. out to you. But if you're watching this and you're not married yet, like, you hear people talk about, oh, like, in marriage, you got to be selfless. In marriage, you really got to serve your spouse. And, like, that is really true. But the problem is a lot of people don't do that. And why I'm bringing this up is because if you can't hear it in Pauline's voice, she's sick. Uh, she's been sick. Her and my son were sick. And then when you're in a relationship and you're married and you got kids, if they sick, you gonna end up getting sick. So Pauline was sick and listen y'all, she she was at that point where I don't know if you ever had this, when you're sick and you can't breathe out your nose. So, so she was having a hard time sleeping. And there was one night I was up a little later watching TV and I noticed that she had actually fell asleep. This was like night three of the sickness. She had actually fell asleep and I was like, man, like, I know she's been telling me she hasn't been sleeping well because she can't breathe. And then it's hard because she can't breathe. She's up while I'm already mid-sleep. And you know, I don't know about you, but I'll be out here moving yeah. mid-sleep. So it's hard for her to even get any type of rhythm, even if she does fall asleep when she's sick. So I was like, you know what? Let me sleep on the couch tonight. Mind you, who wants to sleep on the couch? Like, y'all hear the jokes all the time in, in movies and TV shows. You sleep on the couch tonight. There's a reason for that. It's not comfortable. So I was like, you know what? Let me sleep on the couch tonight because it really will help her be able to get sleep if I don't come in there and interrupt her. So that was really big for me. Just that remembrance that I had to have. If you want to have a good relationship and you truly want to care for your partner, you're going to have to sacrifice sometimes and do some things that are not comfortable for you. Yeah. So good. And I am so grateful that he did. Let me sleep alone in the bed that I'm like, because it did help. Because um, y'all know it's not fun when you can't breathe out your nose. I am not a mouth, a mouth breather, mouth getting all dry, all that. But yeah, so good. Definitely agree that you want to be selfless and marry somebody that's selfless. For me, this past week, the big lesson was it's okay to take two steps forward and one step back. Last week was definitely a step back for me. I have a lot of goals, a lot of things that I'm working on right now, and being sick definitely derailed those goals. And I was trying to, like, not beat myself up but just, like, be gracious towards myself because being, it's never a good time to get sick, but it's just a part of life, and it's okay to have to adjust deadlines and adjust timelines um, in order to take care of yourself. Like, I was very tempted to just kind of, like, push through and do what I could being sick but I was like that's not right for me you know like it's not I'm not gonna be a good mom a good wife like good to anybody if I'm not at my best so like taking a step back and not feeling guilty about that like that mom guilt um about being sick because the only reason why I'm being sick is because of my mom Joshua definitely coughed on me real good sneezed, sneezed right in your face sneezed right in my eye <laughs> um and was just wet and that next day I was sick so y'all learn how to bob and weave girl oh my gosh <laughs> you know y'all if y'all been around toddlers you know try to avoid them but yeah, so just for me, learning how to shake off that guilt and learning, like, it's okay to take care of myself. Like, I'm valuable. It's okay to, it's okay to adjust timelines and adjust expectations um, in order to take care of myself. So that's what I learned this past week. So let us know in the comments what's something that you learned this week. And then also, like, what did you take from this? Like, did this help you realize, like, yeah, I'm not as selfless as I need to be. I would I would have slept right, I would have got right in that bed, two <laughs> feet up in there. So let us know what you would do, what you think, and we'll
we'll see you next week on Car Chats. Bye. Thanks for watching this video. To get more Christian relationship advice, subscribe to our channel. And make sure you check out our other videos as well.